Hi everyone, Carol here, artist of Only Trees. And today I'm working on a silver and copper tree with just a little bit of gold in the branches. So I thought I'd pop in, show you what I'm up to. Stay tuned. I've made my roots already and the length of my wire is 24 inches. This is a 20 gauge silver wire and I've already prepped for this tree by making my uh, copper loops. I've got a whole pile of them here ready to go but I'm working on the branches and I thought I'll show you what I'm doing for this particular kind of tree on the branches so <clears throat> as you can see I have made uh, by twisting up my thicker branches from the trunk okay the trunks here branches going up i've made some of my branches all the way to the end so i'm going to just take a group of wires that i have this one particularly has 10 um, strands of wire pull these out maybe push all the others to the side so you can see it all right, so I have six here and four there. So I'm going to work on these four. Now, this is um, always easier when I'm doing the twisting right in front of me. So to do it on camera, I apologize if my hands move and it's a little bit hard to see but i just wanted to give you an idea on the technique that that i'm using so i'm going to twist this a little bit higher getting my fingers in there twisting this to the v i have four pieces of 20 gauge wire here Okay. And I'm getting my fingers in here nice and tight and I'm going to twist, I'd say about five, maybe six times. Oh, you know what? Let's make it eight. Okay. All right. Now this is where it might get a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try to keep my fingers up in the camera so you can see them. All right. So <clears throat> to get the fullness that I want for this particular tree, I want to make extra branches. And this is how I do it. I have about 10 inches of wire. Okay. With these four pieces of silver 20 gauge and I'm going to make <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to make a loop now and see that this loop is about two and a half inches oh my goodness my voice <clears throat> if you can see that all right I'm going to take my thumb and my first finger. I'm going to get down into that V and twist three half turns. That was one, two, three half turns, not full turns, just half turns. And the only reason I say that because this loop now is locked, the loop here is locked in place. So now that that's locked in place, I need to lock the other side. Okay. And that again is where I'm taking my fingers, getting right into that V three half turns. One, two, three. 
right. Now I have a loop. Okay. And I still have my four pieces of wire. So this is all locked in place, but I want a little bit more of a spacer in here. So I'm going to twist this maybe three or four more times. All right. And now I have this long extension. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take and make a loop about two and a half inches in diameter. I'm going to get my fingers into the V on that loop. Three half turns. One, two, three. Okay, it's locked in place. And now I'm going to go to the other side, make sure I can lock that into place. So it's one, two, three, and I got that all locked in. This gives me three extra branches where I'm going to add on to my loops. Now the little bit of a different technique that I'm using when I'm putting my loops on, okay? These are the loops that I've created. It's 22 gauge copper and 124 gauge gold in there. So it's just a tad of gold, which will give it like a, just a little bit of a different color. So when I make my loops, I try to get five sets of two loops, but this set, I only got four and a half. <laughs> anyway, no worries. So what I'm doing for this technique is I'm folding my loops in half, okay? And I'm going to take this extensions here and I'm going to place it in, now these loops are closed, they have to be cut. So I'm, j I'm showing you on one that is uh, open. So I am taking the inside, these extensions, and I'm going to put it into the V that I have, all right? And I'm going to lock that in these are the extensions. Here is my silver wire. Three half turns or until I can't twist it at all anymore. So one, two, three. That's going to lock it in place. All right. And with my loops, I am going, okay, I am going in with my fingers as close to the V as possible and twist them nice and tight. Until I have no more loop available to twist. I'm getting in there nice and tight. Okay. There you go. And that is my one branch. It's at the very, very end. And then I can um, cut these pieces of silver wire off. It's this little bit over here. A 
I'm gonna drop my tree. All right. And then I have these two loops yet for this particular branch. I'm going to cut them open. Here and here. And I'm going to add um, more loops. So there you go. That is one way to make the top of your tree a little bit fuller. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I also hope you're having an awesome day. And we'll talk soon.